This is not fucking possible. This cannot be true. What is that there? What is that there? What is that? This is... Yes! Chat, Walter. Whoa, Gordon, Gordon, calm down. Calm down, buddy. It's okay. Just, just let me explain. Oh, me senseless. Hello again, it's me, you're you. Welcome back to the channel. So thank you so much for joining me today. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe. If you like the video at any point, just hit the like button, pretty please. And if you have any questions, just leave a comment below. Uh, let's just uh, get right into the video topic today. Can you clean your aquarium filters in tap water? Yes or no, let's go. So I have a bunch of notes for this one. So if you see the notebook in frame, don't, don't mind that. Don't mind that at all, guys. So long story short, you're fine. You have nothing to worry about. Studies have found nitrifying bacteria in water systems with eight milligrams per liter of chloramine. That's actually a pretty high concentration if you, if you were unsure. So nitrifying bacteria can actually survive in, in systems with some chlorine present. Chloramine is just chlorine binded with ammonia in case you weren't aware of that either. Realistically, the temperature of the water you're using to clean the filter probably has more of an effect than the, than the chlorine in it. So let's get into a bit more detail regarding that. So usually in your city's tap water, there's actually not really a high enough concentration concentration at all, as I mentioned, to really affect any of the bacteria in your sponge filter or, or in your hang on back medium or media, goddamn, whatever, or your canister filter, whatever filter you're using, you can rinse it in the tap water because there's usually not enough contact time. Because the chlorine is in such low concentration, the most important thing is contact time. You usually need about 20 minutes of contact time for that chlorine to do anything to anything. And even then it's going to be a slow, a, a slow killing off over a longer time period. Period. The maybe five minutes you're rinsing it under the water isn't going to do anything regarding the chlorine that is. Now, if you're blasting it with super hot or super cold water, the bacteria that's living in your tank water that is, say, I don't know, 70 degrees Fahrenheit, if you're blasting it with 90 degree Fahrenheit water, I'm using Fahrenheit for you Americans because 50% of my channel is American <laughs> viewers. So if you're blasting it with hot water, that's probably going to kill off more bacteria than the chlorine will. So make sure if you're using tap water to rinse your, your filter media that you're matching the tank temperature as close as possible. A couple degrees won't matter, but you know, 10, 20 degrees difference. Like my, my hot water comes out of the tap steaming. That's probably an issue. That will kill some bacteria if I just went straight hot water. And now this does not apply to your water changes. When putting the tap water into the tank during your water changes, make sure you're treating that water with some conditioner, some dechlorinator, so that it, it is free of the chlorine because adding that back in, it, it will have the contact time to kill bacteria, not only bacteria, but your livestock uh, and other things as well, whatever else is in there. So basically, Basically, you can just think about it critically, right? You don't even need studies, although there are studies. If you actually look up studies, you'll see what I'm saying. And the myth that the tap water kills your bacteria is just that a myth. There's actually no study proving it. And if I'm wrong, link me the study in the comments. I'll pin the comment and I'll make a video saying you're right and I'm wrong, but I'm not wrong. So that won't happen. <laughs> if the chlorine concentration in your tap water was high enough to kill bacteria in the, the seconds, realistically, that you're rinsing it under the tap water, it would be considered a disinfectant, not drinkable water. Drinking this disinfectant water would kill your gut bacteria. It would probably burn your mouth. And you could you could use the tap water just to, to clean stuff like your toilets. Your toilets would be so clean. You never have to use a chlorine cleaner in your toilets or your, your tubs or your sinks because, well, like bleach wouldn't be a thing that's sold because your, your friggin' tap water would have a high enough concentration of chlorine to do all that for you, right? Like, just think for a second, guys, here. Just come down. Down, calm down. I'm not wrong. I'm not wrong, am I? As I said, there is no proof that the chlorine in your tap water kills bacteria instantly. As I said, the contact time is the most important thing. I'm gonna be reiterating this because that's that's that. I mean, just like I said, try and prove me wrong. I'll be waiting. I'll be right here. Right in my field. Come on, do it. So where did this myth start? Who started this myth? Why is it so commonplace in the aquarium hobby? Why do you hear it and see it everywhere online and in the stores and whatever? Well, have I got a story for you. Decades ago, so like if your father was a fish keeper, maybe your granddad had some had some uh, fish in a, in a tank. Maybe, maybe father fish did it, I don't know. But decades ago, fish keepers used to take their filter out and put it into a bucket of untreated tap water. They'd let it sit there while they do all their tank maintenance 
and they take it out, put it back in, and oh no, their cycle crashed. Why? Because they let their filter sit in their tap water for more than 20 minutes. So yes, it killed off bacteria. Once again, just think about it for a second. It's not hard to understand where the myth came from, but it's, let's not perpetuate a myth for all of eternity because it's just, it's wrong. You know, the earth isn't flat, guys. So that, that's where the notion of don't use tap water to clean your filter came from. But if you're just using, like I do it all the time and my tanks don't have issues. Like you can see, you can see the shrimp are alive and I rinsed them in tap water this week. So reiterating a quick rinse won't do anything. If it did, don't you think that the filter manufacturers would have a bigger warning on the labels of their filters? Do not rinse in tap water, will kill all your things. Like it would be way more than just some people online spreading the, the rumor, the myth, the legend, the man himself right here. So I, I took the courtesy here of going on to some filter manufacturer websites and finding their FAQs and figuring this out for myself. So Swiss Tropical FAQ says that the residual chlorine concentration is too low in your tap water to do anything. While they recommend you rinse your filter media in tank water, it's really just to prevent that. It's to prevent you from putting your filter into a bucket of tap water untreated and letting it sit there and then you will crash your cycle. Like that's the one thing that will crash your cycle is the contact time, letting it soak in the chlorinated water. Water. Anyway, Aquion here says it will kill some of the bacteria. They don't state how much. They don't state that it's going to crash the cycle. They recommend the tank water once again as, as a as a foolproof method. You know, they got to when they recommend things on their websites, they have to think you have a single digit IQ and you can't critically think for yourself. So this is what you should do. Come on, guys. We're smarter than that. You're on YouTube looking up this specific video. So you're smarter than that. You should know better. So once again, there's no proof. Show me proof. Put it in the comments. I dare you. Are we waiting? I'm still waiting for the proof. It's not out there. It's not there, guys. Because I do have proof that it's contact time that matters. If I remember, I'll make sure to put the, the study that I found, the multiple studies I found actually, in a pinned comment. And then if you find a study that proves me wrong, I'll unpin my comment and pin yours and give you a big thumbs up and make a video and say how you're so smart and that I'll, I'll delete my channel. <laughs> I won't delete my channel, but that'll be, it'll be a fun series of events if you can actually find a study that proves me wrong. So yeah, put that study in the comment. Okay, but anyway. So here's a little scenario to wrap your brain around. Okay. Okay, worldwide, there are probably millions of filters cleaned every single day with tap water. And even if 1% of these people killed all their bacteria and crashed their cycle, that would be thousands of aquarium problems every single day from rinsing their filters in tap water. Hundreds of thousands every month. Don't you think that forums, Reddit posts, your, your the YouTube comment section would just be inundated with people saying how they crash their cycle and how it's such a problem and oh my God, don't ever do this. Da, da, da. But no, it's just randomly you see this old dude recommend it in a Facebook group or you see some random person recommend it on, on Reddit or you'll see another, another fish tuber recommend that you don't rinse it under tap water, but they don't ever really prove why you should do that. They just say it. They just say, oh, you shouldn't do this because it's going to do this but like show me some science i thought we were past this point where if someone says something on the internet you just believe them because if that's the case like have i got a bridge to sell you so even find me find me the hundreds of thousands of forum posts from this last month and i'll i'll retract this video like find me anything find me some proof that tap water kills bacteria and it's not just contact time that matters the concentration isn't high enough it would be a disinfectant come on people we're smarter than this go ahead find the proof i careful go I'll get you for high and proof out of here. I'll be waiting for it, all right? And on that note, thank you for watching. <clears throat> Oh, the Cheeto's gonna kill me. Make sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell notification, leave those comments below proving me wrong because you can't. As always, support links are in the description. I got my web shop, my Twitch, my other stuff, member link, PayPal link, a Facebook link. Huge shout out to my YouTube channel members. Mitch Bottoma, Jamie A, 3DRC, Jake FWTX, Daniel Cordon, Amanda Curry, Gone, Shrimp and Lucas Talbot, BJ Palmer, Tater Salad, Zodiac246, Kendra Crip and Roman Pitchoff, Crip Keeper Aquatics, Zoltan's Aquatics, Drifters Workshop, and Robert Redmond. And remember, guys, until next time, keep your shrimp hands strong. Bye-bye now. Oh. Okay. So thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, if you're... Uh, so short story... You're fine. You have nothing to worry about. It's... Goddamn. Uh, studies have found nitro... Oh my god.
<coughs> in water systems with up to eight parts per million. Uh, what is, is that? Eight? God damn it. So usually in your, in your, when putting the tank, the tap, sorry. Yes. Wait, that's stupid. Anyway. While they recommend it's in tank water, that you rinse it in tank, your filter into a bucket of tank water, or. So once again, there's no proof. Oh, fuck off you, you fat, useless sack of fucking Yankee, Yankee doodle shite.